Phil, you're the head of the machining here at the AMRC. Um, for those engineers that may not know who the AMRC are, what do you actually do and what do you provide? Okay, well the AMRC is the Advanced Manufacturing Research Centre and we're exactly that. We take research uh, from lower technology readiness levels and have an industry pull to take that into industry. So that's what we do here. And do you actually work with uh, many uh, industry sectors because predominantly it has been aerospace here, hasn't it? It certainly has, yeah. We, uh, I would say aerospace has always been our bread and butter in the machining group. Across the AMRC we, we work across a number of sectors uh, including uh, the rail sector, medical, construction and, uh, and recently into the new digital age. Here in machining we don't just work on aerospace, uh, we've worked in the, as I previously mentioned, the medical sector. We've done some work in uh, jewellery, which is quite interesting, on, uh, on a Starag machine tool. And we've also worked um, in the automotive industry across many other sectors. And is it the type of machines and the technology that's available that allows you actually to go into other sectors? Absolutely, yeah. What we have here in Starag at the forefront of this is multifunctionality of the machine tools. So while, yes, aerospace has been a key thing for us and a key component in making us what we are today, it doesn't restrict us to that industry. And talking about Starag, uh, for two decades you've had a great collaboration with them and obviously the way that the company has evolved and the different types of machine they can offer from all types of different factories now, this must be really key for your business. Uh, it, it's absolutely critical. Uh, the partnership model that we have here uh, where we uh, interact with uh, OEMs and that type, Starag are a major contributor in that uh, in that sphere and as you say have been for 20 years so it's absolutely critical that we keep that partnership intact and, uh, and flourishing. And I must admit that over the years of me visiting the AMRC I, I always also see a lot of their technical guys coming over as well to support you. Absolutely yeah we have a great relationship with Starag uh, only just recently we had a couple of high profile uh, people over from Switzerland their, their first visit to the AMRC so it's great to have them on site and they've got a feel for what we can actually do and the value of their relationship and partnership with us. And, and it's also grown into the nuclear part of the AMRC as well, hasn't yes. it? You've got three machines there as well. We have, yes. Uh, we've got three machine tools in our sister uh, catapult centre, which is the NAMRC, and uh, we have five Starag machine tools on site here. Now, we know the world's been through quite an interesting 18 months, uh, Phil, and I, you know, how has the AMRC adapted? Well, we were involved in the initial stages of the pandemic, like everyone else, we, we were told to work from home. And that's very difficult on a, in a machine shop or, or workshop. Within a couple of weeks, we'd been uh, asked to get involved in some uh, ventilator challenge work. If you remember, we were looking for uh, new ventilators at that time. So we uh, got involved in some prototype work there and indeed worked on some of these Starag machine tools on that activity. That led to us bringing the workshop back in very quickly and we pretty much remained open for business throughout the whole period. Now I can see uh, lots of machines on the shop floor, I can see some new installation, I can see some very sexy parts that I can't show on camera. Um, but as the AMRC is growing, is there opportunity for uh, new apprentices to come on board? Absolutely, We've, um, we have a flourishing uh, training centre at the AMRC, so uh, companies outside of ourselves can send apprentices there. We have a number of apprentices, I think we have five, coming towards the end of their fixed term contracts at the end of this year, they've all been offered positions within the machining group. And as a little plug, I've actually got five adverts going out this week for new project engineers. So uh, I'm hoping this gets out there as well. Well, that, I'm sure the future is very bright for the AMRC. And finally, uh, for any manufacturing companies that are you know, looking for help with manufacturing process, machining process, what's your message to them? Absolutely, pick the phone up get involved. If you're an SME, we have an SME engagement policy, so it won't even cost you that much money to do that. We can do that very quickly, go and assess what your needs are and what we can do to help. For the larger OEMs, that's, that all, always is the case anyway. And uh, yeah, pick the phone up, we're open for business. Well, I suppose really having these uh, types of machine tools on board is a very cost effective way of getting your machining processes correct. Absolutely, and, and it's not just the machining we can offer. We offer many other aspects uh, before we get on machine. So we can offer things like process modeling and control, uh, machining dynamic analysis, uh, and the modeling digital side of the process that is really coming on board over the last two to three years.